Okay, let's try these questions here. Now, I did these on GeoAlgebra, so there's a line, and the line, the equation of the line is y equals minus x plus 3. That's a straight line going through here, and it's called function f. And this is a parabola, x plus 1 times x minus 3. That's the function g. There's the y-axis here. I have these red lines here because I want to, uh, before I even start, I want to look at different places. You know, I take a vertical line. I never used to use the snow idea, but the idea if it was snowing and this um, function up here, g, the snow would hit here first. That's just a way of telling you that g is greater than f right at this x value. You see this x value here? You just run up here. There you go. g is greater than f. F is less than G right here. Right here, they're equal to each other. So I want you to look at that line. But what if we stopped here? Well, here, F is greater than G. That's what I want you to be able to look at. F is greater than G here. And as we move along, as we move along right here, hey, they're equal to each other again. But now, and so here, this is where the snow would fall. It would hit here first. If it was falling down here, this is f greater than g. But right here it changes. This is where they're equal to each other. Now g is greater than f. If I stop right here, say at 4, I can see the value of g is bigger than the value of x. Down here it's even negative. And now it gives me a chance to be able to answer these questions a lot easier. Where is f bigger than g? Well, not here and not on this end, it must be in between, and not equal to it. It must be all the x values in here, in this interval, from minus 2 to 3, and not equal to minus 2 and 3. And how do we write that? It's x is less than 3, and x is greater than minus 2. It's everything in between, and that's how we express it, using inequalities. Where are they equal to each other? Well, just at the point, just at the x value, when x is minus 2, that's when the two places cross, when f equals g, or at x equals 3. When does g less than or equal? You see this line? There wasn't a line under here, so you have to be really careful. Where does g go below? Well, right here, and right equal to it as well, and that's why we write... In between 3 and minus 2, g is less than, and it's also equal to it right at minus 2, so we put the equal underneath. And where is it greater? Well, that's two sets. Where does g go above f? Well, that's when g is to the left and or equal to minus 2, so that would be right here, all these values, that interval over there, or x is greater than or equal to 3. That people find these really tricky. I think it's partly because we're not sure about these inequalities and these little equal signs. You just got to practice it and think about it and keep working on it until it makes sense and you understand it. And then all of a sudden it gets pretty easy, but you have to be careful.